Hey guys, welcome to this episode of the 100 Masterminds Project. In this episode, we're going to follow JC Spears. He's launching a consulting company and he's just launching a new website as well to go along with it. Our mastermind group gives him some feedback on what we think is going to work and what we think isn't going to work. Enjoy the show. Um, yeah, so I had kind of a Lazarus moment. Um, I tried to, to be social all night and I uh, went to an awesome art show and passed out in my contacts. And I woke up the next day basically blind. Oh, passed out in your contact. I thought you meant like passed out at the show. I was like, oh my God. No, 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 no. I passed out in my contacts and I woke up basically blind with like a massive double eye infection. Oh. <laughs> it was probably some of the most tremendous pain I've felt in a while. This but, is why I stopped wearing contacts. <laughs> right? Um, it, was, it was a good lesson to learn. But, and it made me basically sit with a blindfold on for an entire day. Oh. Um, and just something flipped my switch. And I don't know if I really have the right words for it, but something about just the the time of being around and listening and having all of these scenarios run through my head. I hit the next day after the antibiotics and started to clear my eyes up and everything just started clicking. So I finished all the copy out on the website. We're ready to launch, I think, as of tomorrow because I have to record the, the front page video today. Um, and I'm going to be doing a uh, – I figured out what I want to do. Um, and so I'm going to do a two-phase launch within a couple of communities I'm a part of. Um, one is going to be a free week for LI members. Um, but the other one I'm going to do is I found, uh, I found a group for Extra Life that I really like. So I'm going to offer matching funds up to a certain amount of money in coaching time for everybody who donates to this Extra Life page I found. Oh, wow. Uh, oh, that's cool. Um, and this is, the one, this is why I was asking you, Tiffany. Oh, you want our Extra Life page? Yeah, I didn't have time to set one up for myself, so... Oh, shit, okay. I guess we should make it look nicer, then. <laughs> Meh. It's the Children's <laughs> Miracle Network. I, I, could, I don't care how nice it looks. Um, so but maybe it's a great we should add, like, a real people. description instead of just, like, the one that they give us. Right. Update um, Extra Life page. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not but, sure I even know what you guys are talking about. <laughs> um, extra, extra Life is an event that they... It's a charity event they put on every year. Um, it supports the Children's Miracle Network, which is children's hospitals across the United States. And uh, video game nerds play video games or board games for 24 hours straight. It's like, it's like you know, if when you run a marathon and you, like, ask people to donate for every mile that you run, they give you money. Uh-huh. Uh, it's the same concept except paying us to play games. It's nice. And not paying us, <laughs> like, donating to donating. our cause. Right. To play right. games. And so we pick a hospital that we give, like, our donation goes to, like, this particular hospital of the Children's Miracle Network. And, like, ev you know, and then people form, like, teams, just like you would, again, for, like, a marathon or anything else. Mm -hmm. Like um, the Rewake for Life and stuff. Yeah. yeah, except it's a whole bunch of nerds playing board games and video games and streaming themselves doing it on Twitch. Right. Which, wow. is, like a, which is, like, a, a – did YouTube buy Twitch? Or did they uh, own Amazon owns Twitch. Amazon, okay. Whoever owns Twitch. It's like a big... Bezos. Yeah. <laughs> it's, a, it's like a big platform to stream. Like a lot of people, a lot of artists will use it. Like if they do digital art, they'll draw and stream themselves drawing. Oh, yeah. So that they can like chat with people while they're working and like oh. grow their following that way. And one of my friends um, who's a... He designs like t-shirts and skateboards and stuff. Um, he does it like every Wednesday and Monday he streams his drawing and he's has like a huge following from doing that. And then other people just stream video games on their channel or whatever. So extra life is like a whole day of this from a whole bunch of people all over the world. Yep. And, 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 and it branches from offline to online. But since we have the first two tiers done, I, uh, uh, I'm going to offer a hundred dollars of matching funds for tier one. I'm going to offer up to five hundred dollars of matching funds for tier two. Um, and uh, so, um, it's an easy way to for people to write off their first coaching experience. Um, and it makes me really happy to be able to get involved. Um, cool. And it gives me time Thank to track you. down Jason and Travis um, and work with them actually developing uh, a partnership where I can donate sessions to LI because I haven't had the ability to make that happen yet. So it's sort of like it's also gap filling for me mm -hmm. uh, while I start to work through these. Um, Do you, um, when are you launching? Um, I'm actually probably going to launch the, the charity uh, 
launch tomorrow. Okay. So I want to get the front page video done on my website. Um, and, uh, yeah, and then I'm going to start kind of just slowly start to reach out. I have uh, a content plan I've been working. I met with uh, 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 Graham. No, Rob. Rob Granholm. Oh, the WordPress guy. Yeah, and we chatted for a while because he specializes in coaches. And um, we're looking at an opportunity where he may just do some consulting work as we move forward in some of the more high-end technical stuff. Um, just because it's a, a, a better voice in my head um, than my own, even though he's like, you're way technically advanced from average client base. I'm like, I don't doubt that at all. Um, <laughs> but as that doesn't mean I don't need someone who's smarter than me. Um, and, uh, and lastly, I got contacted by the, by the CEO of Founders Live, um, which is a, uh, a startup, um, sort of a startup publicity event company. They basically do, uh, uh, startup showcase nights in cities and uh, founders get uh, 99 seconds to do their pitch and the crowd picks a winner and there's lots of prizes for both participating and uh, um, and uh, and winning and he he started discussions to have me found their first one for Boise while I'm up there which is great because I'm, I'm actually kind of already I have, have a little bit of a pulse on that ecosystem anyway I know uh, I know how to get in touch with the guys at ClickFunnels and ConvertKit and all of those other Boise-based startups. Uh, I didn't know they were based in Boise. Right? Boise's blowing uh, up. Yeah, Nate. Yeah. They, they, they seem to really understand, like, at least the digital marketing side of the startup universe. Um, and it's a, it's a side hustle for sure, um, but it's a great way for me to get exposure to my target market. Um, and that works out fantastic for me for because I'm going to be – basing out of Boise for the next year while I travel um, because my girlfriend said if I did she'd travel with me for a year. Um, there you go. So that, that, was our, that was our boardroom negotiation. <laughs> uh, but yeah, no, so totally stoked to finish this last piece and then launch and then kind of start working through the, the promotion experiments to start bringing people into the site and um, and grow. I'm actually going to hold off on building tier three till after Ray's presentation today, um, because I'm really interested in, in how to develop smart uh, mastermind groups. And one of the big draws of the of the tier three is the addition of social communities, mastermind groups, and guest speakers designed to really kind of sharpen the experience for participants. Um, um, before you do that free week for LI, message me. Okay. And we should set up an event. Okay. So like I'll, we'll, I'll we'll promote the event and you can come and do a presentation for everybody. Okay. And chat and talk and then give the, the week at the end. Yeah. Does that Absolutely. sound like a thing? Because we're trying to yeah. promote more member led events like that, like for people who are uh kind of doing exactly what you're doing. Like they're launching a product and they're going to either give a discount to L I or like use LI as like a beta group as kind of a way, I mean, you probably don't need this as much as some of the other members do, but like as a place to like come on and test their webinar kind of, mm -hmm. you know? Um, so we're no, in the I middle of like setting all that up, but uh, just message me and we'll set something. Yeah, absolutely. Make it happen. Yes. Cause then we can promote it and then everybody will see it as opposed to whoever just sees the post that you make on mighty network. Oh yeah, no, that's, I'm, I'm all about it. And that gets me in the door because I had to talk with Jason and Travis um, and Paul and a couple of other people about uh, working on their, uh, see if I can get a guest spot on their podcast. Um, yeah. It starts to do that particular form of promotion most brilliantly. So that, the promotion aspect um, and a little bit of the systems design is where you'll probably find me for the next couple of weeks. Because um, we're, I think the hardest question, if you guys find any data geniuses out there, the, the hardest thing I'm trying to figure out right now on the back end is trying is how to all of those exercises that coaches do that actually help you how to take responses from those and store them in a place that a the person can find their previous responses like they'll have a list of all the stuff they've done because I think it's good reinforcement and b how to aggregate that data in total in a way that I can start feeding it to a semantic engine um, like and and start to see trends and how people are talking about themselves and how they talk about their tr struggles and this is the 
the foundational piece of building a smart AI around it is to be able to start to organize and analyze the data. And I'd like to do that from, from, from day, uh, from day one as close as possible, but I'm not a data scientist, so I'm still trying to kind of figure yeah, that out. Tough. When I used to work with my coach, Jack Lee, she used to do a lot of like questionnaires before our meetings. Uh -huh. They were always indexed, so I could go back and she'd make me go back and review like my answers from before, whether it be through Evernote or setting up a Google survey form or whatever. I think it would have to be something that, because you can with with the surveys, you can have it automatically saved to Google Spreadsheets, right? Right. So yeah. Create this some sort of system like that that would go ahead and index it to a CSV, but it's definitely not. You know, you still have to take the human time to go in there and analyze. I can you use Survey some? Monkey. Have you tried using Survey Monkey for something like that? They at least get they'll get all the information with the history of it, everything there, um, and I'm sure you can ex export it from there to CSVs. I might double check that. I, as long as I can integrate into the site, because I'm probably going to, once we start, uh, it looks like having it as a member site with um, with basically a dashboard that shows them all their history is sort of the way I'm leaning right now. Um, and I want to keep it just sort of like in the payment process. I would really prefer to keep it on site. So it kind of depends on how well SurveyMonkey integrates. You should, even with Google, like you could even do Google Forms individually and that would just save to a spreadsheet that could be hosted live on a site too that people that's true a that's a little bit more manual because yeah. i have to I, and i'm hoping that some somewhere between gravity forms or yeah uh, i like gravity forms or 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 survey monkey or thrive quizzes or any of that jazz that one of them will be able to link to the membership site so that their uid as a member can link to their dashboard and any forms that contain their uid get added to their dashboard like Ideally, that's how it should work. If I have to do it manually for the, the first 50 yeah. people, so be it. I don't um, think it would take uh, even, I mean, I think a mediocre developer could figure that out pretty quickly. That's what right. I was about to say. Having a form that saves data and then showing it on the screen, literally you could get somebody in the Philippines to do it for a hundred bucks. Um, that's super, super easy programming. Yeah, it, it's more, my, my concern really is at this point to, to be able to communicate the expectations in a way that I can get an accurate no. quote. Uh, <laughs> And mediocre developers, I find you have to be really, really good with your clear expectations. Well, if you want help with that, let me know. <laughs> we can meet up at some point, and I can actually, you know, I can translate it <laughs> to geek for you, um, so uh, you can yes. post it up there. Yeah. I, I had, yeah, I, I will track you down like a desperate, starving man in search of food. Sorry, my dog puked in my office, and then on my carpet, and then I was trying to get her to puke on the wood, and now, hey. But I can't and we caught it, it on video. We have it on video too. So <laughs> if I can it up, I will also throw up. <laughs> so I had to go find Chris to tell him that there is. <laughs> <laughs> that would have been legendary. <laughs> oh man, what a recording of a mastermind! <laughs> I see you throwing First up. First dog pukes, then tip pukes. <laughs> I was listening. I could hear you as I was walking around. That reminds me of this time when I was in like third grade. I snuck my wiener dog into school for show and tell and he pooped was is that a euphemism or <laughs> <laughs> no, no it's literally like, okay yeah. i literally took the wiener dog in and he pooped in the classroom and this and the, like everybody started freaking out and then this one little girl threw up and then all these other kids started throwing up and <laughs> what a mess there's like this giant pile of dog poo and then a bunch of people oh, oh man, man. <laughs> <laughs>